that you've had Traylon out on the field and he's stacking some days together. What are you seeing out of him that uh, you're liking now that you actually get to work with him on the field in addition to the classroom? Uh, you know, I think he's done a great job of playing with speed and, and showing that he's willing to be physical in his approach. Uh, those, anytime you get those kind of ingredients with a player, uh, you can kind of build around that. Oh, you know, I think anytime you're at this level, your ability to play with your hands at the line of scrimmage is, is really, really vital to survival. And uh, I think he's kind of figuring out uh, how he has to play at this level. And, and you know, because all these, these DBs are great athletes themselves. So uh, very rarely you're just going to out-athletic somebody. You, you have to, it's going to be some fundamentals involved with that. And I think he's figuring that out. Absolutely, the physicality of it. And I think he's uh, demonstrated that he can play through contact really well with that big body. Uh, he's got really good play strength. Um, but uh, I've been really uh, happy with you know his ability to stretch the field. You know, he shows some uh, shows an ability to be able to separate and and uh, and take a top ball coverage. So that's that's been good to see. Was he, as good, was he different now when he left here in mini camp from the time he came back? Um, you know, he, he, he did a great job. Uh, Frank and our strength, strength staff did an outstanding job of getting him prepared. And, um, you know, he just had to put the work in. And he did a great job of committing to that. And I think he's starting to see some of the results of, of uh, how that's paying off for him. And it's just a weekend. I mean, I guess uh, with the rookies, you just have to stay on them, make sure they don't let up, no matter what kind of success they may have. Oh, yeah. it's, it's a, you know, it's a, uh, one thing I can say about him is he's he's uh, really hard on himself. Um, you know, I haven't had to you know chase him around to do this, that, or the other. He shows some professional initiative, and um, you know, so that's uh, that's that's been great. Oh, yeah, well, he's, he's earned that right. You know, uh, he's, he's come out here, he's made some plays. Um, you know, he's, he's immersed himself in the playbook, um, not a bunch of mental errors, um, and he practices hard. You know, he has a lot of the qualities that, that, that we thought he had when we drafted him. I, I, I think anytime you get you hit with that kind of situation, kind of you know the the, the reality of, of what the NFL is kind of sets in, and, and I think he just had to kind of regroup, regroup, refocus himself, and and, uh, and I think he's done a great job of that. Um, maturity. Yeah, he's a lot more mature than he was when he first got here, and uh, and that shows up in, in everything he does. Right. 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 So, mm -hmm. does the playmaking offset what you want there, or is the technique more important to you? Well, at the end of the day, it's, it's all about you know in this league, it's about making plays, um, but but also the flip side of that is is the the way you're consistent. And making those plays is by the fundamentals that you have. Uh, so he's got some things he's continuing to work through. Um, he's 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 come a long way in that regard, um, and I, th I think he understands that in order to survive in this league, you, there's a certain amount of professionalism you have to have to sustain the success that you need. Uh, I think he's figured that part out, and uh, you know he's in a he's in for the battle of his life right now. Right. Well, I think with you know with the amount of I don't want to say grabbing and holding, but but, but the amount of physicality at the top of the routes, uh, you have to play that way if, if you're going if you're going to be consistent in this league. Um, but do it in a legal manner, and, and that's what we're trying to uh, you know instill in these guys right now. But um, 
you know, most of most of, most of these big guys aren't going to outquick some of these smaller DBs. So um, you're going to have to win with the physicality at the top of rounds. Pick it up on that when Vrabel says the first OPI is on me and we'll ratchet it down from there. Did he say that? Yeah. yeah I'm joking. How, I, yeah. How, uh, how, how much do you like that? How much have you seen it? Oh, I, I, we, we love it. We, we love the fact that we have the license uh, to, to uh, you know, because sometimes you get you can live in that world of, of, of not wanting to, you know, be overly physical because you're afraid you're going to get a penalty, this, that, and the other. But, you know, at the end of the day, we tell these guys that it's, it's about getting open and it's about creating separation. Um, and sometimes, you know, that, that's the route you have to take to get that done. So uh, we relish in the fact that our head coach, um, you know, supports a physical style of play, if you would. Bryce, had a good day. Uh, he's playing with a lot of confidence, um, and I think the biggest thing that Racy has done is he's realized that that you know it's not a, a whole bunch of six three. 230-pound receivers that can run 4-3. He's learned. He's learned to play with that speed and, and, and really impose his will on uh, defenders. And he's he's reaping the rewards for that now. With Traylon Burks, how have you seen him come along just from a route running perspective? Guys out here running comebacks and mm -hmm. some of the more complex routes. That's not something he did. As right. Well. Um, you know what? I, I think that the thing with Traylon is he actually had some of those traits. Um, they just didn't ask him to do a bunch of that. Uh, so we just kind of building on some of the things that he's, some of the abilities he already has. Um, and he's done a great job of buying into that and, and really working on the fundamentals that come along with it. And, um, you know, he just has to continue to put the work in. What's what it say about him just, you know, realizing there was a missed opportunity and then turning around and having the start that he's had? Um... That's the, that was his welcome to the NFL moment. You know what I mean? Some, you know, uh, every rookie's going to have that at some point. You know, unfortunately for him, it happened right out the gate. Uh, but he's done a great job moving on and, 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 and doing the things necessary to, to put himself in the best possible position to compete. Safe in football condition, and he's in a routine that, you know, so when you put him in that environment, he just can pick right up where he left off. So he came in. He, one thing about him, he's smart. He's willing to learn. He's putting in the work. So the transition for him has been pretty good. Uh, what are you seeing from him on the field that uh, might be able to help this preseason? Um, he just comes out there every day, knows what to do. He's playing fast. He had an um, interception the other day. So he's taking advantage of the opportunities. That's what we ask the guys to do when they get a chance to get on the field. From what we've seen, seems like Roger McCrary's around the ball about every other play. Is he is he impressed you guys to this point? Um, he's he's been he's been good. Um, he's come in every day and work. He puts in the time. Um, he wants to be great. Um, he, the, he listened to the vets that helping him out. He takes coaching and um, he really makes the same mistakes. And he's competitive, and he goes out there every day, you know, just trying to get better. And that's what he's been doing. He said that he tries to match himself up a trailer. Two of them are kind of trying to do that. Do you guys encourage that when you get a couple of Abs high draft pick rookies like a that? Absolutely. You know, you want the guys, you know, you know, going against the best guys out there. And him and Traylon goes out there and compete against each other, and they go at it. And it's been good to see you watch those guys compete every day in practice. There's a lot of youth in that group. Uh, how are they, you know, maybe pushing each other? And, and, and is there somebody standing out in that, that room to help uh, – point the way is it Maven or one of those older guys well I think all of those guys are you know just pushing each other because they know they all got a chance you know you come out here is what about what you do each year you come in so you know we got vets in the room as far as Byard and Hooker you know but at the corner spot we are young but that's exciting because those guys are pushing each other every day and they're coming out here and making each other work to get better we came with Farley he's so talented so I know the expectations are high but do you find yourself sometimes having to remind yourself like He's still brand new at the cornerback position. Well, I understand, like, you know, he didn't play, you know, his ton of ball last year, and, you know, he, he was coming off the injury. But he understands what the expectations are, and I'm going to keep them high on him, and we're going to keep the expectations and standard high in the room. So, but he's coming out here working every day, doing everything we ask him to do, and just working to continue to get better. Do you find yourself, like, sometimes, like, have, like how do you coach him like, when he has a tough day like he did, um, was it Tuesday or like, mm -hmm. days on but that's, that's part of the process. That's part of the learning deal. If you play this game long enough, I play, you're going to have days where they don't go well. It's how you respond to those days, and you don't continue to stack bad days on top of each other. And when you come out here, we go in the film room, we go in the meeting room, and we learn from it, and we come out and get better for it. That's, you know, that's what it's all about.
Oh, he talks now. He <laughs> he definitely talks. He's doing a he's doing a good job. I mean, with the leadership, um, you know, uh, crossing the lines is what I'll I'll say. Meaning he's he not only is he um, talking to the defense, but he's also giving the offensive guys pointers and and um, the good players that I've been around. That's that's something that you don't coach them to do. They just do it naturally and. He, he's at that point right now. Where is it in his game that he can make some more improvements this year going into his fifth, of fourth year? I mean. Well, I mean, in really every aspect. I mean, in the run game and, and rushing the passer. And, and I mean, there there's never um, – I remember when I went to Oakland and we had um, Richard Seymour, who was in his 12th, 12th year, and he was always trying to get better. So these guys don't, just because you become a really good player, the, the, the good players are always trying to find ways to get better. So I would say in every aspect of his game, he's not a finished product and the good ones never become a finished product. So I think that's where Jeff is in his mind and that's where we are in our mind. And when a player has that mindset, how helpful is it to, to get that continual improvement work? Well, when your your best players are the hardest workers, that that that's that's a good thing for the football team. And and he comes out here and works as hard as anybody on this football field, and that bleeds over um, to the rest of the guys. So it's a it's a good thing. You've got such a veteran group, even with your staff. Does that change sort of your approach to the individual periods and things from? No, not really. I mean, we you when you have a veteran group or a young group, you're still working on fundamentals. Like that doesn't change our individual periods. If you watch us now, you watch us 4 years ago, you watch me 10 years ago, it's the it's the same thing. We're working on hand placement, fundamentals, working on getting on the edge of blockers in the rush, using our hands and all of those things. So it is great to have a group of guys that have played and played for us, which is different than, than what we've had. So it's 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 been good. How much of an advantage should that be in the preseason? I mean, presumably you're going to have some guys with some skins on the wall playing against rookies at, at points in these games, right? Yeah, I don't know who they're going to play against because, I mean, you just never know in the preseason who's going to be out there. So we don't – the the one approach we have is we don't focus on – who we're playing against. We're focusing on us in the preseason. I mean, we, we just go out there and play football. So whoever's lined up across from them, um, they just got to go play with hand placement, fundamentals, and execute the call. So because we're not sitting up diving into um, players, so it's a little bit different than when we play the Giants September 11th. expectation maybe other places he's been is, is there a sort of a freedom for him coming here and, and maybe not having that those same sort of expectations on him, you think? well I think the beautiful thing about hand in particular is um, the past is the past you know whatever you do here going forward that's what you're going to be judged on and, and I would say right now I mean he's having a, a really good um, a really good camp and he's been a guy that's had some some ups and downs and all those things that, that he's been through. But really, today, as we go out here, August 4th, 5th, or whatever the day is, he, he's, he's competing and battling and doing the things that we ask him to do. So I'm excited about Deshaun Hand. What, what could he add to the rotation then if, if he ends up being a part of this thing? Well, flexibility, you know, playing, playing multiple positions being able to rush, play to run, doing all of those things. So um, I'm excited about him. He's done good, but he's also a rookie. You know, whether you're a first round pick or an undrafted free agent, it's just different. I mean, and the closer you get them to the football, 
meaning in, nose, tackle, outside line, the closer they get to the football, the harder it is for them because everything just happens so fast for those guys. So um, he, he's progressing, um, but we've been in this situation before with Naquan and Tart and all of those guys where if they're ready, they're ready. If they're not, we just keep on focusing on developing them. So he's, he's but he's doing a good job for us. Now. Energy, uh, effort, being able to play multiple positions. He can rush. He can play the run. So he, he's he's been good for us, and he's a good leader. How competitive? How competitive? Very competitive. They're competitive with those guys. Like it's. I think everybody assumes that what happened last year is going to happen the next year. And I've been in this league long enough to know that that it's a prove it league and so whatever you did the year before has nothing to do with the the next year so it's competitive with the other guys but it's also competitive with those two guys so